we're altering the structure of the test servers a little. We know that different players come to the test server for different reasons. Just because you're coming to check out a new operator, it doesn't necessarily mean you want to try out content that's still in the early development stages. So now content's going to be split into more focused testing periods. First, we have our season reveal. The day after the season reveal, we're going to put our seasonal content on the test server. That's going to be only content that's releasing with the season. After that, the season will launch, and the next up will be our new lab test server. So this is going to be more experimental features, giving players a sneak peek at something still in early development. Will this lab test server take place every season? We don't know. We usually have content that's ready to show at that stage, and we hope that we're going to be able to do it as often as possible to give players that sneak peek. Finally, we'll update with the balancing test server, and then leading up to the next season reveal once again. So many of you might have noticed that we teased something uh, in the MAA that we did on Reddit a while back. What we teased was a new game mode called Warm Up, and uh, we're going to bring it into the test server uh, this season. It's a permanent game mode. It's not an event, it's a permanent game mode. Uh, this game mode is a uh, 5v5 uh, team deathmatch style uh, game mode uh, with infinite respawn. Uh, you can also pick any operators you want. So regardless of the side you are, uh, you're going to be able to pick attackers and defenders. You're also going to be able to pick multiple of the same operators, uh, which means that you'll be able to pick five Ash versus five Ash if you want. The goal of this game mode is really to have something that's a bit better than what we have right now in terms of like, you know, getting warmed and getting ready to, uh, to, to go into quick play, unrank, and obviously, you know, rank. We want players to be able to jump in, jump out, and train with whatever operators they, they want. Something to note is there's no ability in this game mode, so you can't use your gadget. Uh, you have a few secondary gadgets. You have uh, flash grenades, uh, grenades, and uh, impact grenades, uh, but you only have one per life and it's a, it's a very lim limited amount. It's just something to, to kind of spice things up. But for the most part, we're focusing on the gunplay. It's a five minute round. You have only one round with infinite respawn. The, the way to the win is to uh, achieve the, the most amount of kills at the end of the, the timer or to reach uh, the max amount of kills uh, first. So your team uh, collects the, the, the number of kills collectively. So right now we have three maps. Uh, we have Favela, uh, Villa, and Team Park. We're hoping and we're, we're wishing to introduce more maps in the future. It's, it's a very easy way and friction-free way to, uh, to really explore the different operators, the different loadouts, the different guns, and also the map. So in terms of feedback from the community for this uh, test server, we really want to have you know, general feedback uh, in terms of like, is it, is it something that helps them warm up? Is it something that's useful? We want to have also feedback on the maps. Uh, the maps that we're releasing the game mode with is, uh, are, are like three very different maps different sizes, so we're gonna have uh, feedback on that, you know, what, what kind of maps they, they, they prefer. You know, is it something that they wanna use uh, instead of the other options that we have right now for warming up and getting ready for your, uh, your rank stack. Defenders have always had a big advantage. Uh, they can choose the objective and build a team around it. But as an attacker, you can only guess the objective when you're selecting your operator and that can limit your options. We want attacking lineups to be more varied. We want to let you pick operators that could have been considered too risky to bring before. During preparation phase, you will be able to open the repick menu. It is essentially the same menu as in planning phase. From there, you can change your lo operator, your loadout, and your spawn location. You can make changes as many times as you want before action phase starts. To help you take decisions quickly, we are introducing a new version of the team header. It displays more information about you and your teammates, so you can all adjust your choices. Operation phase will be more meaningful for both teams. In attack, you will have to decide if you should risk your drone to get intel and counter defenders, or keep it for action phase. In defense, you might want to bring more intel denial. Essentially, we want you to be able to be as creative in attack as you can be in defense and come up with crazy strategies. Attacker Epic will be available in all playlists, from quick match to ranked, and in Pro League, we intend to remove 6 pick and the reveal phase, and that should shorten the downtime between rounds. We hope you're going to enjoy the first version on the lab test server and let us know what you think through socials and the surveying team.